All right, so today I'm gonna find out how much of a chicken I am. I'm gonna try and measure my chicken strips. You know, there was a motor vlog, there was a guy who makes motorcycle content, very popular guy, and uh, he's pretty much saying, you know, get rid of your chicken strips, also your bike. Now, I don't know, I, he said he was joking, um, but I, even if he's joking, um, I kind of, like, I kind of ask myself, you know, if, if it's, you know, within a legal, uh, normal riding, why wouldn't you be able to get rid of your chicken strips? It's something that your bike can do anyway. I put a chalk on last week and I just, um, wanted to know how much my chicken strips will be just with regular riding, just going to work. Uh, and it was about one inch. So um, now I'm going to try and see if I can get more. Um, I've never really been interested in it because I always thought that, you know, to, to, to be right on the edge uh, means you have to be speeding. And I'm just not interested in that. But actually it turns out that uh, I just sort of looked at um, a formula, general formula, and you can, you can go right on the edge of your tire at like maybe 30 or 40 kilometers an hour. Um, or, you know, uh, obviously, you know, the, the faster you go, you know, there's, there's a relationship between your speed and your turning radius, uh, and your lean. So, uh, I'm going to be, I, I worked it out. I know it's just a, like a rough formula, general formula. Um, but I realized that, you know, speeds like 40 or, or 50, uh, you can, um, go right, lean right over. Now, I want to be more on the, like, I don't want to be just on the edge on a lower speed because I don't want to get into that stall speed. Um, you know, I don't want to have it where I just run out of speed and the bike just tips over. So it's better just to have a bit more speed and then a wider uh, turning radius when you're on full lean. Um, but I'm not sure if I actually have enough road for it here. So we'll see. Maybe uh, if I can't do it. I'll find a better road but um, I'll also put it on like let me see I'll, I'll put one here so go all the way across like, the, like this and then here so I'll put three because you know if I hit like a hard lean and uh, it's like maybe it's only for a short time I want to still catch it uh, and I'll do a lot of turns as well just to make sure because you know one just one mark you, you know you might have a, a hard lean but um, you know it didn't catch that surface area of the tire so uh, I'll put like several marks Maybe one over here. That should cover it. And uh, we, we, when I did it, like when I was going to work, so it definitely just doesn't rub off. It only rubs off when it's actually leaned right over. So it doesn't rub off just from the air and stuff. So we'll see how I go. Um, I'll measure my chicken strips. We'll see if I've got enough road to actually, you know. I just do a bit of warm up. Um, so, and this isn't, I don't know, it's not like a full. I'm kind of counterbalancing. This is like slow speed. I really wanted to find a place where. I could go a bit faster and sort of hang off a little bit. Maybe if I go fast and tip in and then break. My body position is not doing nothing. And you don't want to stall like halfway in a heavy lean because you won't be able to pick the bike back up like at a 45 degree lean 
and you stop, you're not going to be able to pick the bike up, I don't think. So try not to stall, just try and keep that momentum, but try and be better each time. Ooh. Now, I, I can actually feel the tyre when it's um, on the more towards the edge. It feels different. If there was only a place where I could go faster and turn like a long turn hard. So with that little warm up, let me just check. Let's check where my lean angle is at. But you know what, I don't, I don't think I can hit the edge. I want to go somewhere. Yeah, that's not the edge. That's nowhere near the edge. Um, oh, mm, no, nah, that's not good. That's still your. Uh, no, nah, I can't do it fast. What about the back? Yeah, it's still the same, one inch. They look about one inch. I'll measure it properly. Though this is a nice road, and it's fairly wide. Um, but I don't want to be that slow. I want to like I want to be fast Because I don't want to stall midway. I don't want to be like in the stall speed and tip over I want to have a lot of headroom A lot of speed headroom It's not as scary when you're going faster. When you're going slow, it's more scarier. Like when you're going these speeds, it's just scarier. Well, actually, it wiped a bit more. So that was. It did wipe off a little more. So, you can see it's starting to scrape here. And oh man, it's 20, 21, 23 mil where it looks like it's starting to scrape. 23 mil, what about here? Here's 25, 23, 25, uh, how much millimeters in an inch? Maybe. This is it. This is it. Just do stuff like that. See, really white. So I can just sort of come in, hold the brake. Be careful. Yeah, I reckon I could do something with this. There's gravel all over this place. Um, so I want to be. I want to be. Tingo breaking in, what do you call it, trail breaking, because I don't want to let go of the suspension, oh man, it's going to be all that way just to do a U-turn, trail break, dip, that wasn't that hard, that wasn't a hard turn. See, I can, I'm more confident dipping in at speeds. Good speed. I wonder how much, I didn't get that much. I was, I was chicken there. <laughs> and trail brake and dip. I don't want to drop this bike. 
bike is really nice and shiny and immaculate and I don't want to drop it brake, stabilized suspension, tip nah, nah I could have done better than that I could have done better than that I don't want to tip here, look at all the gravel, there's a lot of gravel, I don't know if it's showing in the camera. So acceleration, I think I've got good grip, so I should be able to, I should be able to, come like this, just go like this. And, but the road dips as well, so... That's not good, like, it's not good when the road, like, sort of drops because you're already sort of taking gravity and you're using that gravity to get traction and it's taking away gravity from you when it dips and you're on a corner and you'll fall because it's taking gravity away from you slowly going as well, so if I go to 60 and do a sharper turn that would be better to help that dip that comes down um, because I'm not going as fast I'm not losing that much road at the same rate so I think, you know what, I can do this a couple more times but um, before the actual corner, if I tip turn in hard that's where I reckon I could take off chicken strips, like, not in the corner, but before the corner. So, I feel like I'm getting better though. Just check, I want to check where I'm at. Like, still a chicken. Still, I am still a chicken. Still a chicken. So it was this corner that looked like it was taking more of the chicken strips away. But maybe because it's. Maybe because of the road camber as well. The road camber's up, wherever there, the road camber's down. And this gravel is not good. Not good, not good. But that fast corner is fun. It's dipping. It's not dipping. I think it's not fast. 